What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 93 overall team of the season so far, Aussie men. And I tell you what, he looks absolutely ridiculous. But for 350k, I honestly feel like it might be worth it. Because these stats on the card ri look ridiculous. But there is a big letdown of this card. The Future Stars card have four, has 4 star 4 star. And the team of the season has 3 star 4 star. And the fact that EA have done that. That's like a big, big L. Now, I understand you could say EA are used to, used to taking Ls. But this is one of the biggest Ls in the team of the season that I actually have seen. The difference between a 3-star and 4-star skill, uh, skiller is huge. They can't just leave that out. 99 pace, 93 dribbling, 95 shooting, 93 physical, and 86 passing. Stats on the card look ridiculous. 6 foot 1. Honestly, 6 foot 1 strikers don't really work this year, but... If the person has high enough dribbling, it does. They feel they don't feel six foot one at all. They feel like a five foot nine, five foot ten player. The high high work rates aren't great for a striker, which means most likely I will put just stay forward on him simply because if I don't, he'll end up in CDM. Now, three star skill moves, as I said, not great. Not even going to talk about it because I absolutely despise three star skillers. It just doesn't really work with me. The four star weak for though is always going to be nice. He's going to be able to cut onto the left foot and actually shoot with it. Now, he is on an engine chem style. He is on 10 chem. Now, before the chem style, he has 90 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. Now, if we're averaging it, that's usually what happens on the card. They get an average and they pop it on the card. Now, tell me how 99 sprint speed and... Not, sorry, yeah, 99 sprint speed and 90 acceleration adds up to 99 pace on the card. I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what they're doing over at, you know, at the headquarters, but... <laughs> They need to sort that out. But we all know Aussie men. He's absolutely insanely fast. And he will be outpacing a lot of centre-backs. 93 attack and positioning. 97 finishing. 95 shot power. No shooting traits. Bit of a letdown. But we just move on. 92 long shots. 85 volleys. 87 penalties. He has got 92 vision. 95 crossing. 98 short passing. 79 long passing. And 83 curve. Now, because he is a striker. And not like a cam or a winger. He won't get into a lot of situations. That allows him to use that long passing. Most likely, it will just be his short passing. But if he does get into that situation, I doubt it will get there. It will be very tough. It might and it might not. It's going to be very inconsistent though. 99 agility, 99 balance, 95 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling and 90 composure. As I said, if a person has that high of a dribbling stats, he does not feel 6 foot 1. And that's what that I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen today. 99 jumping, 99 heading, heading accuracy. This guy would be absolutely disgusting in FIFA 19. We all know it. The little, the little back stick headers, the little green times all the way over to the back stick. Nah, I, I wouldn't. I don't want to imagine it. I don't want to imagine it. Anyway, so 6 foot 1. I will obviously try the little near post headers off corners and see if they go in. Why not? 91 stamina. He will last throughout the whole 90 minutes. 94 strength. That is impressive. That is very, very impressive. Because that means he's going to be able to shield the defenders off fairly easily. Wait for the passing option. Then just give the ball away. 86 aggression. I was expecting at least 90 aggression. But, you know, we move on. It just means he's going to be fighting for the ball. And I still think he, would, he will win the majority of the 50-50s. Now, today I have linked up, he linked him up with Bamba and Di Maria. Forgot to say this is not my account. This is actually my guy Sam's account. He's allowed me to hop onto his account and do so many reviews. It's ridiculous. So I want you guys to go hit him up with a follow on one of his social medias. The link will be in the description either way. Now, we have got Jesse Lingard, Henderson and Cruz in this team as well. I will be using Aussie men in a 4-4-2 playing him up front. And I don't think I want to try him anywhere else. Yeah, I could potentially try him down the wing. But I'm just going to leave it straight to the striker position today. But let's get into the games. Go on. Ball roll to keeper. Oh, that is calm as you like it, isn't it? Let's all be fair. Just so composed in front of the keeper. It was ridiculous. That fake shot, I didn't actually expect it to work that well. Like, I thought it was going to be one of those ones where he fake shots, then the defender would just go in front, right? No. Obviously, man, you know, didn't allow the defender to get in front. He used his strength to actually, like, tug him off the ball, pretty much. And he actually had time still to do the ball roll around the keeper. That is honestly quality. Nice, that's great position. I'm flicking this up. I'm going to go over the head. Oh my god. But once again, look at the positioning. Even with a person that has high, high work rates, you can really tell the attacking positioning like carries that. Henderson. To Jesse. Jesse. Tossy, man. Little flick. 
Over the head, why not? Why not? Let's get a bit cocky if you want to say it. Literally, team of the season Ramos getting done dirty by Aussie, man. And I tell you what, like, it's one of those, it's one of those ones where he's perfect. Literally, he's perfect positioning. It happens every single time. We've had three opportunities. He sat in, the sat in front of the centre back every single time. And you can't get better positioning. You rather make the run at the perfect time or just sit there, wait for it, and let's see if we can turn the defender. And that he's done that, what, twice now? Good touch. I'm going to need a fake shot there. Oh, very, very close. If he had, like, a bit more, I believe it's acceleration, I reckon he would have actually got around that corner. Make that run. There you go. Perfect. Do the drag back. Do the finesse to the far corner. That is perfect. Literally perfect. He knows when to make the run. But he also knows when to come short. And that you don't get better than that. You honestly don't. And the fact that he literally went straight into the space I wanted him to go to is perfect. RB turn. Go for that shot. Ooh. Okay, okay. Like, I aimed towards the near post there. And the fact that he went straight down the middle with like a four-star weak foot as well. That's kind of, I wouldn't say depressing, but I would say disappointed. Disappointing. Oh, that's nice. Please get a finish. Oh, come on. That is literally beautiful. The fact that he did the fake shot just to get the angle to the right, and he did it quick as well. It wasn't one of those ones where it took him a long time to turn his body like I was having an issue with Team of the Season to Pi. That was exactly what I was having. Just like it taking too long to turn the body because he's got a bulky body. No, this time Aussie Main does it quick. Little turn to little touch to the right, and it's a full pelt into the back of the net. Little pass there. RB. Mm, you see, right there, I would probably do like a hill to hill going up, right? But because he's got that three star skill moves, he does like the really, really slow hill to hill that doesn't actually give you any acceleration. I've moved the keeper the wrong way as well. I'm an idiot. I barely moved the keeper, and the one time I do it, it's like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that little shimmy to the left with the acceleration boost. That is the one thing I like about, like, you know, not having four star or five star. I get to use this uh, this skill move. This skill move gives you that acceleration boost, but it shifts you also to the left. And this kind of, this shift to the left allows me to get this angle for like a really, really quick shot. And what a shot it was with the weaker foot. The four star weak foot showing there. That is nice shielding by Di Maria, to be fair to you. Oh, okay. Now, that wasn't a great touch. That is something I can admit. But the fact that he was there wasn't really a fight for it. Like, I was expecting him to be way, way more aggressive there. Tried to fight for the ball back, at least. Nice. Good run. Take a touch. Keep going. Good defense. Oh, referee. What, what, what am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? What, is Aussie Main got the diving trait? What is that? So, so this game has implemented diving, right? But I don't get a pen for it. Fake sure around the corner. Pass morning, please. There you go. Another one. No, I'm an idiot. I tried to do that, that exact skill move, but I actually thought it was going to stay in. I didn't realize the skill move, like, hits it a bit forward. Oh, that's nice. Ball roll around the keeper. Easy goal. There you go. But starting off with the roulette out of play, which is annoying because I thought we just did the roulette and not that like extra touch. But I'll keep that into account now because that is the, like one of the first times I've actually done that skill move this year. I did it so many times last year. It was ridiculous. It was so overpowered. But look at this. Calm as you like it. Little ball roll around the keeper and it is a beautiful finish. So it is time to review him. Two games played, six goals. Come on. The guy's a goal scoring machine. Now, I didn't really like the skill moves. That is something I can admit. It's not one of those ones where I really, really enjoyed him. But I must admit, it did actually teach me how to use a three-star skillers. And you can do all these, like, you know, the shimmies to the left to get an acceleration boost. The fake shots around the corner still work. The ball rolls, the drag backs, all the default pretty much skill moves. But the roulette is something I'm starting to get into with these three star skillers. It is low key a bit overpowered simply because while you're doing it, it's like so fast. It's ridiculous. It does not give your opponent enough time to react to it. Well, come on now. Two games played, six goals. Six goals. The guy did not miss. Well, that was a lie. He missed a little bit, but you know what I mean. Anyway, six foot one did not feel six foot one at all. High, high work rates. I put stay forward on him. 
He has that, you know, the 99, no, sorry, 93 attacking positioning. So he was just making runs at the perfect time, coming short at the perfect times. It was, everything was perfect. It was literally perfect. It's what I want in this game. I know how bad the attacking AI is, but Aussie mains runs and like coming short just makes so much sense. As I said, the freestyle skill moves, I don't really have to get into that. I just said it before we'll start week for though. Interesting. A bit inconsistent, but there's other times where it did actually fly in. So be careful with it, but still have a dig of it. Now, pace wise, he is insanely fast. If he had 99 acceleration, he would be outpacing most of the centre backs. That is something I can't like. That's something I can't say. Like Sergio Ramos was catching up to him, and it was a bit annoying, but it's understandable. Shooting wise, absolute bullet of a, of a right footed shot. It's like it's crazy how good it is. Passing wise, he could not do the over top three balls, so be careful with that. But the short passing little one twos, the give and goes, was pinpoint. Dribbling, as I said, he did not feel like a six foot one player. When your dribbling stats are that good. You're never going to feel that tall. Never. Even sometimes, even if you have a bulky body, you're still never going to feel that that tall. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's just how the game is created, pretty much. I've tested so many players out, so I pretty much know it by heart now. Stamina wise, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. One disappointing bit, though. I did not try a near post header with him or in a corner. I did test out his jumping ability. Yeah, he would. He actually outheaded Sergio Ramos and stuff. But that was expected. Sergio Ramos is, you know, six foot with his 99 jumping. But Aussie main, six foot one, 99 jumping with the 94 strength as well, which helps a lot with jumping because you can actually back into the player and shield them off. Uh, aggression was interesting. He didn't really fight for the ball consistently, but there was some occasions that he did. Now, we do have to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. I don't believe it's a 9 out of 10. I don't believe it's a 10 out of 10 because I believe... If we're playing top 100 players, if we're playing elite one players, this is how I think about it. If we're playing them top tier players, then three star skill moves don't really go well with them. Don't re it does not. It just it's too readable, pretty much. It's too readable. But if you make him as like a super sub against those players, and with his clinical finishing, he will actually turn up. He will honestly. He will turn up. Well, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.